American Airlines employees aren't the only ones facing uncertainty in the midst of the layoffs. Two News reporter Sarah Goldenberg joins us live just down the street from the Americans Maintenance Base to explain. Sarah? Russ, American Airlines workers fill the boots here at Christie's Barbecue every day, but now its owner is worried the layoffs will mean an end to business as usual. Milad Alkori owns Christie's Barbecue on Pine and Mingo. You could say he has a lot of regulars. We know a lot of people that come here because they come lunch and dinner sometimes. Most are American Airlines workers. Al Khari says in the last few months, his business has taken a hit, and he worries it will get worse. He estimates 30 to 40 percent of his customers work at American Airlines. If they uh, lay off a lot of people right now, it's going to put our business in jeopardy. Now, he says the workers' worries have become his own. Most of them, they have families and they uh, own houses. And all, with, all the time they think how they're going to afford to pay the payment on the house. And we do the same way. Some wonder why workers would vote down a contract that could have saved nearly 1,000 jobs. Workers 2 News spoke with who voted no did not want to go on camera. But they say it goes back to the cuts they took in 2003. Since then, they say their pay has gone down and never recovered. One worker told 2 News, quote, a lot of little things added up to big things over the years. Another said, quote, I'd rather be laid off than give them everything. And now that workers rejected the offer, hundreds of families and dozens of businesses are waiting to see what happens next. And we're afraid uh, to lay off a lot of jobs and... We don't know what we're going to do. Now, union reps will present this case to a bankruptcy judge later, or a bankruptcy court later this week, and it will go to a judge on June 6th. Live in North Tulsa, Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you.